All right, guys. So we come to you from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, shout out to Paula. I know you're from this area. And it's snowing outside like crazy. It seems like every year I come here, it snows. Or it's really cold or something like that. And we're not really this pale, but we have <laughs> a light shining directly overhead on us. I'm not pale. that pale. Don't even give me that. I'm tan now. Okay. You're Jacked pink. and tan. You're pink. You're pink. I am not pink, you man. You are a pink boy. <laughs> Some garbage right there. All right. I can't help it. So... <laughs> Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Alright. You know what? You just keep rubbing yourself with that thing, okay? <laughs> I don't even, you just do what you gotta do over there. Alright. Now, we're not gonna eat these, but I got these for all you Canadians. Actually, I mean Canadians who come here. Uh, Jay Nera, Cade Weber, Dana Baker, if I ever see you at this. Or if you ever see this video, I got these for you guys because you can't get this in Canada. I was talking to Jay today. They can't get any good food up there. Apparently, they try to be healthy or something like that. I don't know what that's about. So they don't get the good stuff. So I bought that for it. them, anybody at the cage who can't get it. All right. Here's, we'll get to the actual foods now. I think we got we to start with, uh, Kelly has hyped these up to me. Sweet tart jelly beans. She says these are like the best jelly beans ever. So I've never had them. You open them up. She's had them before. We've, I've tried. We've tried Welch's so far, and I tried the Nerds ones. The Nerds ones are not good at all. The Nerds ones are like a four out of ten. Welch's are like maybe a six, seven out of ten. But she's told me these are the best ones. So this is my first time ever trying these. What I've been told are the best jelly beans. I'm gonna start. Which one is this? That's yellow. I don't know what flavor. Yellow. Lemon. Right. <laughs> lemon. It's lemon. That's fantastic. I told you. It's like sour. It's, it's a sour, sweet, a lot of flavor there. That's a good one. I'm gonna go through all the flavors though. Tastes like lemon too. That's good. It's okay. It tastes. Tastes just like sweet tarts, honestly. Like a lot of these things you get. Starburst jelly beans are pretty good. These are like dead on. They're just like a sweet tart. Two for two so far. Try pink. I don't know what these flavors are. We looked them up online, but I don't remember them. So pink. Pink's probably my least favorite, but it's still good. It's still like uh, sweet tarts. And then I think green's the last one. Mm. Or is there orange? There's blue. That one's green's more like mild. But it's good. This is my favorite. Blue? Blue and purple. Purple is good. <laughs> I can't help that. <laughs> she told me not to make smacking noises, like that's not even possible. <laughs> I mean... That's because Brooke said... Brooke said you smacked. Brooklyn Elizabeth, I don't even care. <laughs> you mad? She's gonna... She's gonna be mad if she wants. Okay. These are good. These are... Yeah, these are the best jelly beans. I would say... Seven and a half, eight out of ten. Overall. Which I give Starburst like six and a half, seven, so... To step up, they taste like sweet tarts. I'm just throwing them off. I'm gonna pop like a couple more. Let's do the start of the sour patch. Wait, hold up, hold up. Sour patch strawberry. I've never seen that in my life. So we had to get that while we're here. Here, give me a shot. Are you kidding me right now? Wow, that was tough to open, guys. Do you even try and grip? I don't, actually. Oh my goodness. 
All right, um, these are new apparently. That's what it looks like. Can't reach. I like it. Eight out of ten. What do you think? I like it. I'd say seven, six or seven out of ten. It's not that sour. Watermelons are my favorite. Okay, it's it's not that sour to be honest, but Sour Patch Kids, any kind of them, amazing. I would say Sour Patch Berries and the original Sour Patch are more sour, which I like. These aren't quite sour enough, but the flavors, the flavor overall is very good. All right, let's do the juice next. Let's try the juice here. I'm trying to not overwhelm the flavors. Like if we do chocolate first, it wouldn't make sense. All right, so this, ironically enough. I can't get in Tennessee, but I used to have in Wisconsin. Not this flavor. I had a different flavor. I don't remember what it was called. It was acai raspberry. I think that's what it was. Um, this one is pomegranate blueberry. I'm trying to. So it's Trop 50, 50% 50 less sugar. And honestly, this stuff is like as good as the regular juices, in my opinion. I love the old one. The acai uh, raspberry was probably one of my top three favorite juices. So we'll give this a shot. I didn't shake it up. Is that okay? Is it going to be know. worse? Try. It's going to go bad because we didn't <laughs> shake it up. I'd shake it up now, but that would spill all over us. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, it tastes similar to that Palm Wonderful stuff we got, but a little less mild. It doesn't have that aftertaste. So I give it maybe a 7 out of 10. Because I'm a juice fiend, but uh, what do you think? I mean, it's not great, but it's not. I don't really like juice. Yeah, so. you're not a juice person. That's the one thing. But if I would drink that. I mean, if I had to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I'll put I don't. It. I wouldn't buy it, but I wouldn't buy juice. You wouldn't buy juice, you, so that your opinion is invalid. <laughs> My opinion is never invalid. Okay. Now this one is a special Pete Classic uh, throwback um, hodgepodge. <laughs> this one is the. This is okay, guys. I'm gonna let you guess here. One of the best crackers you can get. Now I want everybody to think up some crackers in their head from the grocery store. Try to think up what I'm thinking of as the best cracker, or one of the best crackers. This is a classic. Goes way back. Get off your Facebook. Um, Goes way back. We're trying to do a food review here. <laughs> is this the pilot floor? Is this the pilot floor, no guys? No one knows what you're talking about, except you. This might be the pilot floor. I don't know. And me. Where are you? Okay, no, I'm just. I didn't say anything. All right. <laughs> anyway. Are we moving on? Mm -hmm. Quickly. Hey. Hey. People are waiting. Wait one second. Oh, I'm good. All right. Um, getting distracted. All right. So now you clearly can see because I've shown it. Chicken and a biscuit. This is probably the greatest cracker ever. Now you can open this up. Do the odds here. <laughs> I've had it before. I give them eight and a half out of ten. Which you know for me, an eight and a half is hard earned. Like that's you don't just get eight and a half from it. I'm a heck of a food critic. I'm not. I'm like. I'm strict. Like, I'm not just giving out nines and tens. Eights are rare for me. You guys know this. Professional food crate. You can't even open it again. Goodness I gracious. I can't. Are you kidding me right now? No, <laughs> my hands are slippery. I just don't want you to open. Do you even try and grip? <laughs> I got it, guys. <laughs> Gosh, I can lift mine like a pound. I can't open hold up, chicken Hold up, hold up. I know I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Get away from me. Do you got any money, Cass? <laughs> I sort of got it, guys. Oh, man, my rotator cuff. Gosh. For real? Yeah, it kind of aggravated it again. <laughs> Opening a box me? of crackers. But they'll be worth it. Are you kidding me right now? You just make the... Oh, fake. You should be like... 
Come on. It's not going to be gross, but it... You got this. It has stuff on it. Yes, that's the point. It's seasoned. <laughs> it's delicious. That is really <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I was really worried about Guys, this. Guys, she is hard. No, I, I mean, okay, no, but here's the thing. <laughs> she doesn't agree with me on my food choices a lot. So that was a heck of a reaction. That's like getting a 9 out of 10. Like, what I've done here is like getting a 9 out of 10. So, 10 out That's of 10. That's really good. All right, now here's the thing. Delicious. What do you give it? For a cracker, I'd no. give it 10 out of 10. I really would. <laughs> That's really good. I would you give buy that, that. You put a freaking delicious stamp on that? I do. Kelly totally. Kelly Fit, Instagram Kelly Fit, freaking delicious <laughs> approved stamp. Um, I give it a it's freaking really delicious. Good. They're incredible. I mean, they are just, there's just something about chicken and a biscuit. You guys need to try it. Um, I would put it up there on the level of uh, Boston cream pie toaster strudels. And I would say what? I've never had those. Oh my gosh, really? Boston cream pie toaster strudels are about a 9 out of 10. So this I give an 8.5. It's kind of, I'm showing you the kind of the range we're going with here. Um, now these next few things were bought at a specialty store here at the mall of Worthington, Worthington, yes. Ohio. So you these probably can't power. get these, but let's do, we're going to do the Ohio State Buckeye Crunch first. Let's hold that up. Get a close up of that. Now what this says is that it is a traditional mix of peanut butter, chocolate, and caramel corn. So let's, let's see you open this one up, see if you can do it. <laughs> oh gosh, that's gonna be brutal. I mean, if we thought these were hard to open, this one's gonna take the cake here. I don't know, it's not looking good without a scissors. Oh, you did it! Alright, well, you got it. Alright, give me one, we'll have it at the same time. I want this one. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do it at the same time, okay? Okay. Yeah. You never wait. I'm hungry. She's always got to get hers first. No. Tastes like caramel corn with dipped in uh, peanut butter. Dipped in peanut butter, exactly. I give it eight out of ten. That's okay. good. That's good. Eight out of ten. It literally caramel corn dipped in peanut butter. That's what it tastes like, hands down. It's good. So these next things, let's do the uh, the white chocolate truffle first. Now, can you hold that up? Mm -hmm. Let's show the people what we got here. It looks like an, a white egg, but it's a white chocolate truffle. I picked that one out over tiramisu, among other kinds. I'm gonna take care of myself first. All right. Typical man. Well, I don't usually. All right. Hold up. You gotta get the middle because it's a truffle. You see that? Very strong. I mean, that strong. hits your heart. Strong, how? The taste. White chocolate's very rich. Like, it's like powerful. It's potent. Mmm. I'm a white chocolate fan. <coughs> I'm dying. All right. That tastes like uh, white chocolate Hershey's. Or the Cookies and Cream Hershey's bar. That's exactly what that tastes like. It's literally the same. So I would give it maybe a seven out of ten. I'm not blown away, but it's like a white, it's like a cookies and cream Hershey bar. Pretty much the exact same taste to me. Nothing special. What do you think? I don't like it. What do you give it? I'm not a big white chocolate fan though. I'm a white chocolate guy. I like white chocolate. I don't know, like a two. Two. All right. I don't really like now, a what is we call this one? The Buckeye. This is called the Buckeye. This is homemade. He said. Homemade Buckeye is what we got. Because we're in Ohio. Is that where we are? The Buckeye State. I'm going to tell you guys, getting up here, we had to take a detour because the interstate was closed off by a freaking rock slide in, in uh, northern Tennessee, northeast Tennessee. So we had to go through Middlesboro, Kentucky, and all these weird places. Got here 3 a.m. last night. This morning. This morning. I don't even know what day it is. Hold this up. That's a Buckeye. All right, you take a bite, I'll take a bite. Did you 
get it all in your mouth? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna take a bite now. Um, it's like a peanut butter filled middle. It's literally, it's mainly peanut butter. Um, I don't know. It tastes like a Reese's. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like a Reese's. It's good. Seven and a half? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is Eight. literally a, Re a Reese's replica. So, the originality of these two last items, I'm not a big fan of because it was like eating any candy I could get at a store. What came first, the Buckeye or the Reese's? Heck, if I know. That's a good question. Well, you should ask the guy. Paula. <laughs> we should ask her. She would know. All right, Paula. We're counting on you. Freaking delicious foods. Whatever this is, we wait your answer. But overall, the, the whole allotment of what we just reviewed, pretty good stuff. I'm not disappointed in it. It was not a. It was way better than the Charleston bunch, and it was <laughs> a lot better than the freaking atrocious foods, uh, Whole Foods version in California. So this was a success. Now we have uh, we have business to attend to. You gotta get your sleep. I gotta get my rest, That's guys. I'm gonna lift in the morning. I gotta. I'm deadlifting 900 pounds tomorrow in the animal cage at 11 a.m. So I have to um, get the stress relief and go to sleep. I'm going to my room. Yeah, you gotta go to your. Bed.